Hello, hello, and welcome to Leilani Drinks the Brown Stuff. And I'm your host, Leilani, in my backyard at our avocado ranch. Well, not ours, but you know, <laughs> ours. <laughs> not really. <laughs> we wish. Anyway, <laughs> let's talk about whiskey. So as I was perusing the aisles of my local Trader Joe's, I noticed that this bottle that normally runs for about 35 to 40 bucks was on sale for like 15. So you know, mama had to get her whiskey, especially for $15. So tonight we are getting into Devlin, a handcrafted original family recipe, blended Irish whiskey. Now it is 40% uh, ABV and 80 proof, and they age it in charred oak casks. Now this is a product of the Republic of Ireland, and uh, it's made in small batches and in pot stills, and they use Irish grain, and the natural and pure Irish spring water. Mmm, that sounds delicious because I love Ireland. It was always so natural. It rained a lot, but it was amazingly beautiful. Looking at the castle, seeing all the greenery, just it was an amazing space and place. And there was one thing I remember they do line dry a lot of their clothes. So during the pandemic, I have to say, um, that are ventless one unit washer and a uh, washer and dryer uh washer yeah washer and dryer why did i think it was something else i don't know but it broke and only the washer would wa work and not the dryer and thanks to ireland and me being there all the time uh, i had my man throw up a line and we just line dried our clothes for like i don't know six months eight months what I don't know. It was a while. We were too poor to buy a new washer and dryer. No, it was in the middle of the pandemic and we didn't want to go out and buy a new one. <laughs> Not with whiskey, love. Okay. Why are you buying $15 bottles of whiskey? <laughs> we have good bottles too sometimes. Stop it. Anyway, it was the pandemic and that's the only reason why we didn't get a new washer and dryer. We're not trying to go out and be out amongst folks which is still true to this day. Anyway, the, the uh, what is it? The tagline for this Devlin, it's super cute and I love it because it basically says, there's a little bit of Devlin in all of us. Here, here and cheers, because I second that. Now, the Devlins were basically known as a raucous bunch. <laughs> And that was because of their unwavering loyalty to their faith and uh, their efforts for national independence. Now, it is said that the Portadown Rebellion of 1641 uh, lasted <laughs> because the family O'Devlins would not conform slash bend the knee to the king and to his liking. Basically, it sounds like my kind of family. I love them already. So let's get into this bottle. All right. Oh. Okay, Devlin. I see you. I so see you. <laughs> ah, easy caps. Oh, oh. I have a little oil on my skin. It's going to be a little. Oh. Oh, happiness. Light, a little fruity, like a, a sweeter than a green apple, probably like a nice red, a hint of spice, a little bit of vanilla and oak. But it does smell like a little bit of rain too. Hmm, that just stirs my soul. <laughs> so let's get into this. A woman's pole, a woman's pole. Let me get this woman's pole. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, and I do like the top 
of this Crux Mia Stella. And I think that's the symbol, handcrafted with pride. Bottle's kind of cute. All right. Mm. Nothing else pronounced is coming through except more fruit. Really? Cantaloupe. Mm, maybe some zest. I'm trying to figure out what zest it is. Yeah, it just smells clean and fruity with a little bit of oak. A touch of maybe spice in the back. But it's the... <laughs> mm, the vanilla and the, the fruit. It's very fruit forward, which I noticed a lot of Irish whiskeys tend to lean that smell. So let's do this. Hmm. Nice. With the, van it's almost like a dessert, but not as sweet and sugary, but I can definitely feel like it's a kind of like a fruit tart custard kind of thing going on. Very mellow, very smooth, very easy. It lays in the center of my mouth nicely. The pop comes towards the end, the back, which is always a good sign for whiskey. I love that. A little bit of vanilla. Mmm. And that oakiness. Touch of honey. This is easy drinking to me right now. Is it because I brushed my teeth? I'm not sure. Who knows? But I like it. I like the way it's playing around in my mouth. <laughs> it is really smooth and easy and light on the tongue and the palate, guys. Um, yeah, if scotches aren't your thing, Irish whiskeys might be that Thing below if you're not into like bourbons yet or whatever yeah this is nice nice and easy and I like it it's simple it's really uh, kind of has this little bit of a uh, fruity palette that's going on um, the like the best way I can describe it without you know literally sinking your teeth is the like the fruit tart with custard um, so it's a really nice just kind of blended with a little bit of of spice in the back. I'm beginning to feel a little bit of it now and it's almost just slight between white and black pepper. It could be a mixture, a little bit of both. I'm not sure, but I lean towards the white pepper because it's just so faint and just a hint of it. So Leilani drinks the brown stuff has to give Devlin four solid kisses. It's a good whiskey and to find it on sale for 15 bucks. Yes, it was damn well worth it. So if you see it on sale, grab it. If you don't, grab it because it's a good whiskey. <laughs> so four kisses, solid by Leilani. And like I said, if you don't got the Devlin in you, maybe you need some. Cheers. <laughs>